So we all know what happens on the outside of our bodies when we age. So our hair gets grey, our skin gets a bit wrinkly. But as the famous saying goes, it is what's on the inside that counts. So what does happen on our inside of our bodies as we age? Well, I'm going to show you. OK, so I want everyone to take two fingers like this and press them into the side of their neck. Can you feel that? That is your pulse, OK? So what you are feeling right now is the blood being pumped by your heart, going through your carotid artery, and it's on the way to your face and your brain, OK? So that your normal heartbeat is about 60 to 100 beats per minute, but mine is going considerably faster than that right now. <laughs> um, so the biggest arteries in your body are elastic, just like a rubber band. So all this means is that when the blood is being pushed through them, they have the ability to stretch out and then relax again after the blood is gone. And this is actually really, really good for your heart because it helps regulate your blood pressure and it also helps your blood move to the top of your head and the tips of your toes. But as we age, these arteries get stiffer and they lose their ability to have this stretch, okay? And this results in higher blood pressure. It can also lead to heart attacks and strokes. And this will kill one in every three people in this room. It's a bit of a Debbie Downer, sorry about that. Um, OK, so to understand why this is happening, we have to take a bit of a closer look at the structure of an artery. So we've got three main things going on. We have elastin, which, like the name suggests, it allows your arteries to be elastic. So it has a natural wave formation, which makes it very good at stretching and returning to its original place. Then we have collagen, which is really strong. And this prevents the overstretching of your tissues. And finally, we have smooth muscle cells, which can contract <laughs> and relax in sync with your blood flow. But again, why do arteries get stiffer? So scientists have had a couple of theories over the years. So the first is that your elastin just simply fractures or degrades over time. The second is that we just start producing too much collagen and our tissues get too stiff. And finally, our researchers discovered some calcium in people's arteries back in the 20th century. Now this is of particular interest to my research project because um, there is also evidence today that if you just look at the amount of calcium in a person's heart, this can tell you their likelihood of having a heart attack. Okay? And just only in the last 20 years, we've discovered that these calcium deposits are extremely similar to bone. So similar, in fact, that they have the same behaviors and they're formed by the same highly complex formation system. Okay? So today, we are closer than ever before to understanding these complex mechanisms that drive our arterial stiffness. And hopefully, with my research, we can get to the heart of the problem.